What's up guys, how you doing? If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Philip Scrubber. If you wanna subscribe, it's down there. I suggest you do. Um, today we're talking about GoPro accessories um, that I actually use, because I have a ton, and I mean a ton of them. This is gonna be a quick film, so hang in there. Um, obviously, I don't use this GoPro accessory a lot. Um, in fact, I don't think I've actually ever used it. Um, <laughs> it is a knuckle duster with a GoPro attachment on the end. I mean, what the hell? Anyway, we're talking about the GoPro Hero 9. I did do a film a couple of days ago about the new accessories that came out for it. There are only for the 9. You can check it out right here. Um, I am still waiting for the Max Lens mod, and that is going to be awesome, so I'll make a film only about that. But today we're talking about stuff that will fit the GoPro 9 and I use a lot. So it's not stuff that sits in my bag. Actually, in my GoPro box, this is my GoPro box, and um, it's usually full of stuff, but I was taking it all out to see what I could show you guys. So, without further ado, um, I'm gonna show you what I have and what comes in handy for me. Um, first thing, pretty cool, um, is, is this. Um, this is really interesting because this is um, basically a lid for a bottle. So you buy yourself a Coke bottle, and if you, you're traveling somewhere, you just screw this on, you drink the Coke, obviously, attach your GoPro to it, and you can go in the water and your GoPro will not sink. Just this little thing. Um, it's fantastic, I have used it a lot, and um, it comes in really handy. Next thing, if you're on a float, by the way, um, this is the bobber, it's like the version one, they make a new one by GoPol. Um, and this will also bob, but obviously it takes a little bit more space than this one, but it comes in handy as a handle. Um, next thing, by the way, you guys, um, the remote version one and the version two do not work for the GoPro 9, and a lot of people are upset about that, so am I, and this was no doubt one of my favorite accessories, because I could just not using my phone, and it was really easy. Let's hope GoPro do an update to fix that. This is awesome. This is basically a bottle opener and it has a little end to get that GoPro nut extra tight. Because sometimes you just can't just get this thing tight enough. This thing will help you get it that extra bit tighter. Um, it's official from GoPro um, and it works really, really well. So I recommend one of those, they're not expensive. Um, when it comes to nuts, I have three different types, and they basically look like this. You have the GoPro one, which is plastic, you have one from Smartree, which is metal, um, and then you have one from GoPol, which has got this thing that you can like turn around, and it makes life a lot, lot easier. Um, Smartree is a cool company because they make metal stuff, um, so they have one, for example, that you can fit on top of your um, cold shoe, and you can put your GoPro on it, if I can get that in there, like that. So you can have your GoPro on top and you can be shooting and filming and filming and shooting all at the same time. It's all metal, it's really fantastic and it works really well. You can also get yourself a one from Small Tree, which is also all metal with a quarter 20 at the bottom so you can just screw it into any tripod. Really, really funky. Um, screws, like I said, I have a ton of them. They're really, really useful. Um, when it comes to your... Um, I keep on forgetting what these the blah, blah, blah. I keep on forgetting what these things are called every single time. <sighs> Let's be professional. Mounting buckle. Right. So mounting buckles and um free M stickies. You've got like flat ones, you've got curved ones, they all come in handy. It's good to have a whole load of them. When it comes to mounting buckle, one of my favorites is actually this one, which has a tiny little a ball head in it, so you can just, you know, flip it around and it's just super, super fast. Um, it's a little expensive, but it um, just comes in really, really handy. It's got a lot of friction, so your GoPro is not gonna like, you know, flip around. Um, sorry, getting back to these extensions. Extensions are really useful. Um, you have one like this, which is a 90 degree one, so if you're mounting your GoPro straight, and you wanna have it mounted to the side, you can easily do that with one of these. And I have a whole bag of straight ones, of extensions. Um, these things come in really handy. You can get the official GoPro or you can buy them off Amazon. I'm sure they're pretty similar. Next thing. 
mouthpieces. I use these a lot. Um, the GoPol one is really good for diving, swimming underwater, swimming pools. You get the drift. And it actually gives you a really good bite, a really good bite. It feels comfortable in your mouth. So, you know. You have the one, official one by GoPro, which um, basically looks like this, and you just have it in there. Oh. You get nowhere near as much grip as the GoPro one. Um, and the GoPro one, you can also breathe. You know, it just makes life a little bit easier. The film that I dropped the other day about the different choices of lenses um, actually had this. And this is one of my favorite things that I use all the time. Um, it's by Mag Wheels, and it is the most incredibly strong magnet you've ever seen. This thing is like, I don't know, it's like, it's crazy. Um, but you mount your GoPro on it, and I just stuck it on a lamppost, like you saw in that film, and it worked really well. If you stick this on a car, it's great, because it's got silicone on it, so it won't scratch up your car, and you can do some just crazy driving off-road, this will not fall off. You'll have trouble getting it off, it's that strong, so I really recommend this. Um, when we talk about vlogging, I will be doing a film only about vlogging and how the GoPro sounds um, and how you should set up for vlogging in, in shortly because I'm waiting actually for a cage from a certain company um, which will turn this into a vlogging machine. But this is basically what you have to buy. You plug it into the USB-C. You can then plug in your microphone here, your external microphone, and it basically sits like so. Um, and you can put your microphone on top. You can either put on a, say, Rode um, micro, or like I like using, like I like using um, the GoPro Wireless Go. Awesome. You just have it on top, have it here, and you can move away and get closer. And the sound's always fantastic. Suction cup. It's similar to obviously the magnet, but this you get this stuck onto a window, onto any kind of flat, smooth surface. It's by GoPro, you can get third party ones. I like the GoPro one and it works really, really well. Um, you can kind of spin it around and you know pump it up and it, it sticks on like crazy. I had it driving through Vegas um, for many, many miles and it did not fall off once and there were a lot of potholes there. And obviously if you have this guy, buy yourself some of these um, just to make sure that this guy is secure, just in case it feels like falling off. Um, you know, that's, um, be safe, not sorry. This guy is awesome because he's really fast. He's literally just a flexible clip. And if I just want to do something quick, I have it on here and I can basically just clip him onto anything. It's ridiculously fast. It's official by GoPro and it works really, really well. You can, you know, then change the um, angle. The bar uh, mount is really good and you can get it on thicker bars. It has inserts which make it thicker, thinner. Um, this comes in really handy if you're doing mountain biking or motorbiking or anything that has a bar that you can stick it on. Really useful. It's official by GoPro. Um, the GoPro Freeway. Um, this is actually really cool and I use this probably the most. Um, I have my GoPro on it and you can basically just freeway it um, like this and it's about that long as you can see. Then you can put it back um, and until you click this blue button, it will not go back in. At the bottom, you have a tripod that if you screw in the other way, this becomes a tripod. It's a little bit flimsy, but it does the job for getting you know shots and time lapses and whatever you guys want to do with your GoPro. Um, it's a great little tool. Next thing is this big boy, official by GoPro. You kind of twist it pull it out and twist it again. It is pretty solid and you can get some really cool, nice shots of motorbikes flying above you, um, skateboards flying below you, whatever you kids do out there with your GoPro. Comes in really handy. It's good enough to fit into a backpack or your luggage or whatever. Um, and two of the last things are the wrist strap, which is really cool because you can actually turn it around. Um, so you're skiing and you've got this on your hand. It looks pretty cool, you know. Wrist strap comes in really handy. It's very funky. And my favorite thing, which I used on the um, lens choice video, is the GoPro Chesty, which I suggest most people have, because it is fantastic. You basically just um, strap it onto yourself, and it is by no doubt the best view on a motorbike or a mountain bike, or basically most things. You have your GoPro here. I would suggest putting on an extension 
because it's difficult to flip the GoPro, sorry. It's difficult to flip the GoPro straight here. Um, but with an extension, you can put it out and you can get different angles. Um, the chest is awesome. I think there is a new version with a kind of like a soft back. Who needs that, huh? But um, I, they're, they're, they're quite cheap. Um, it is cool. The chest here comes in a little bag. And those are basically all the things that I use a lot with my GoPro, except for the knuckle duster. Um, if you want to check out all the shit, then watch this film here. It basically has every single thing I have for the GoPro. <gasps> One more thing is the air. Um, I still, well, I still, air still is not ready with the actual head for the no, new GoPro. Um, and they are, they already have like a 3D printed version, looks awesome. The air is basically something you grab and you throw and you get this crazy view, this awesome, awesome view. Um, it's not a drone, it's not f you throwing a GoPro through the air. In fact, I did a film right here about it, um, and it's an absolutely awesome perspective. So they're doing um, a GoPro 9 head, and that should be out soon. Um, apart from that, if you guys have any questions about this stuff, or the stuff that I did in that huge GoPro all mounts video, um, drop them in the comments below. I will be more than happy to answer all your questions. Um, give my film a like if any of this stuff's helped you. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, because I still have a whole load of films that I'm going to do with this guy. Um, yeah, you guys have yourself a fantastic day. Um, and if you want me to test or do anything with this GoPro, and I might be able to do it, drop it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do about it. Anyway, have yourself a fantastic weekend. It's Friday. I'm going to go and have a beer and edit this film.